When I was in medical school, I spent a lot of my time thinking about how uh, humans would need to adapt to go for long endurance in space or on the moon or on Mars. And the fact of the matter is, our bodies have physiologically evolved uh, for the conditions that are here on Earth. The gravity, uh, the radiation levels, the oxygen and so forth. And as we go into space, we have two options. One option is we either evolve the human body and with the biomedical, synthetic biology technologies going on right now, that could be a, uh, a potential. But reality, we're going to terraform, make Earth-like whatever environments we go to. On the moon, it's going to be using the lunar regolith as shielding, and perhaps it's creating uh, enclosed habitats uh, for a place that we can provide the atmosphere and can provide uh, the radiation shielding for us to uh, to live a vibrant and healthy life. But I think as humans, we, we do this constantly. We move to extreme environments and we make it habitable. Whether it's the North or South Pole, or whether it's you know the hottest places or the coldest places on Earth, that's what we do as humans. And I have no question that we'll do that in space. We'll solve the issues of reduced gravity and the physiologic effects it has on decalcification and cardiovascular systems. We'll, we'll deal with providing us the right atmosphere. We'll deal with how do we provide the right radiation encapsulation so we don't have increased cancer rates. I mean, these are the major problems and I have every confidence we'll overcome them. If you have any questions about the Google Lunar X Prize or space in general, feel free to ask me anything in the comments below. And we may feature your question. Thanks for watching.